Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings and today for the first time I thought hell why don't I talk about ML paper and miles from home why not okay this is currently day eight of our quarantine I'm recording two videos today because it makes sense because I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow there's so many opportunities when you're in quarantine I could get up and go down to the yard there and exercise or stay up here and type but anyway I'm doing two videos today they will go over the next two weeks and hopefully they will be of interest today I thought it would be useful to talk about Basildon Bond I I started using Basildon Bond writing paper, airmail paper, back in the 1970s when my brother first moved to New Zealand. And we used to have really quite good fun. It was in those days next to impossible to phone. You had to book your call, sometimes weeks in advance, before you could phone the other side of the world. And when you did phone them, it cost an absolute fortune. So if you tried to make a phone call, I would have my father tapping me on the shoulder going, I don't know what time it is, how long you're taking. So um, we tended to write and we did things like running a chess match. It took a very long time to play each chess match, but we would make our moves, post them up, send them off. And then the reply would come back and I would think up the next move and send that off with the next letter. It took ages, but it was quite fun. And in those days, I always used to use this notepad because it was, uh, not notepad, note case because it was very convenient. And I bought Basildon Bond lightweight envelopes because you see, as it says here, Two sheets and an envelope weigh less than 10 grams and that was important and it still is because the price that you're charged for your postage is based on the weight of the letters. Now I have had these two notebooks for at least 30 years. I discovered them recently in a box. I thought I'd talk about them because when I was reviewing papers recently I was told of three candles and I thought that sounds like an interesting thing and I contacted the manufacturer of three candles paper and it's the same manufacturer that makes Basildon Bond and they were good enough to send me samples of three candles letter paper and Basildon Bond letter paper and envelopes both and I thought that is really good that's interesting so before I came out here to New Zealand, I bought a whole bunch of airmail envelopes and I thought I could use some of this. Now, this is an interesting problem because what I would normally do is demonstrate writing on the paper. But I don't have the facilities of my standing desk, so I'm going to have to do this without ever actually showing you me right showing you me writing paper on the oh you know what I mean right so first of all notepads they used to come with 50 sheets of paper I think they might do still I'm not going to buy full A4 ever again I will stick to the smaller size that will fill that, that will fit in my leather note case that to me makes sense what they do come with is a sheet of blotting paper. This is useful because it means you can stop smudges. It also comes with a sheet of lines. Each page is unlined. Shove the guide underneath and you can actually see whoops, through the paper where the lines are. Okay. Each page also does not have the Basildon Bond logo on it, but it has got the sort of tram lines. Well, I don't, don't think. Whoops, that's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. I'm afraid. 
but you can see where the paper's been pressed and how it functions. So, how does it work with pens? Basically, absolutely superbly. Look at this. So, we have here some Israel Zeblau in a broad Conway Stewart nib. We have here what colour is that? That is oh blue mar from Rora and Klingner in a fine Visconti nib, but it's a gold nib, it is a gusher. That really is putting down a lot of ink. And then here we've got another Conway Stewart broad nib, this time using diamine China Blue. There is absolutely no bleeding, no feathering, nothing whatsoever. Now, of course, this is old paper. It's very likely that modern paper will be slightly different. But what I do like is that you can see here perfectly clear. What you can't tell is actually it's written on the back as well. So you get no shadowing coming through whatsoever, even when it's held up in, in the light like this, which I find really impressive. So this paper is very good for fountain pens, even gushers. It is exceptionally light, so you can get four sides of writing and an envelope for less than 10 grams, which means you're in the cheapest level of postage from the UK. And I've been looking at this because, of course, I'm trying to work out how to organise a pen pals writing club, which has been proving interesting. And I will digress into that just for a couple of minutes because people have said, why don't I get a post box address? Well, because it costs about £40 a month and that's far beyond my potential budget right now. People have said, include a stamped addressed envelope. That's fine, except if you post me a letter from America with an American stamp, it'll be rejected in the UK post office because those stamps have no legal value in the UK. People have said they could include postal orders and things. Again, you're starting to look at expense there. The only thing I can think of is that the best way to do this might be to have it as a separate Patreon type accounts where people pay in a small amount, £3 per month, something like that, and then that would hopefully cover the cost of my postage and everything else. But it, I don't know how exactly I'm going to work that because that's adding another level of administration and complexity to things. So it's interesting. I think that some form of upfront charge for things probably makes most sense. We will have to see how it goes. If you're interested in the idea of the writing club, by the way, Put a note down at the bottom. I'm not going to be taking names or addresses or anything right now. It is a matter of as and when things start moving I will be putting out more videos about what I intend to do and therefore if you're interested this is how you can follow up. Um, but as you'll understand right now I'm in quarantine because I'm here to see my brother who's very ill and we're hoping to see him as soon as possible, as soon as quarantine is over. The prognosis is not at all good, so we're just having to hope that we will get to see him before it's too late. So we have other things on our mind, which is one reason for doing two videos together, and it's another reason why I'm not really focusing too hard on the writing club. That's something that'll have to wait until the new year, I think. But I do intend to have it started for the new year. Hope that was interesting. If it was, don't forget, go to the bottom. You can go to the Patreon account, you can support me with PayPal, you can like, subscribe, hit the notification button and all those, share it and all the rest of it. And in the meantime, I'm now going to go back to writing my Bloody Mary book six story of Jack Blackjack, who's currently having a bit of a torrid time down in Devon, poor devil. I think he'll probably survive though, because I'm being asked to write books seven and eight, so I think it better survive. Cheers. Take care. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep safe and speak to you soon. Bye.